good evening guys uh once again it's uh it's a brilliant friday an awesome friday and a stressful friday especially considering what is happening or what is going on around the cryptosphere so it makes it very exciting knowing that a whole lot of people are getting sick a lot of people are getting pregnant uh, a lot of people are falling out of uh, the exciting blockchain crypto economy uh, once again is the ebit Chinese academy and on this section today um it's just um questions and answers it's like uh, it's time for us to also give back so it's time for giving back and um obviously just question and answers let me just share this to our group okay so uh i'm coming i'm sharing this to a group yeah and um the questions can just start flowing and um we are here and uh, hopefully we would be able to attend to everyone and uh equally make huge benefits of uh what is uh happening in the crypto market so if you are watching this it's just question and answers and those of you on facebook watching us live you can also ask your questions by dropping a, a message in the comment section and um, uh, those of you that are watching live on youtube and zoom you can also ask your questions by um just uh typing or just finding ways you could do that and so it starts now um how many questions do we have uh obviously we should have a couple of questions that's already prepared and we are waiting for the submission on the chat on the zoom platform and at the same time uh if you have any question regarding everything anything that is happening before as i am waiting for the questions to start coming i would uh, be talking about the general you know stuff that are ongoing especially some of the exciting things we experienced over the week that has to do with the cryptocurrency market current price of bitcoin um let's let's have a look at something on my screen here so the current price of bitcoin as we can see is uh around six thousand four hundred and something i cannot tell but obviously i i think i have to confirm the current price with you guys and uh let's go to a platform like uh find my cap is cool okay so uh, that's we, we want to verify the current price of bitcoin and uh, how bitcoin has performed over the week and um, maybe probably if it's going to be worse or it's going to be positive from here and we all know you all know it's an unpredictable market you can't know what is going to happen in the market without you being a part of the market experiencing how the market works uh last week when we met over here i think we had the privilege to see the price of bitcoin over five thousand seven hundred dollars and uh today just a week or seven days uh the price of one single bitcoin is selling for four thousand three hundred and sixty US dollars and that's a crazy thing to see for you to know that ha ah, yeah obviously a lot of things are happening and trending so what are some of the factors things that are just pushing the 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 the, the prices the the bitcoin prices towards that direction and i think 100 percent it has to do with um uh, the entire global economy like uh, it's not the blockchain or the cryptocurrency market only that is suffering but if you have a look at my screen you realize that uh aside bitcoin is uh, ethereum has uh, extremely suffered though uh it's really, it's really, it's really, it's really ethereum should have been better than it is right now and then ripple ripple is uh amidst the crash trying to do so well and um ripple is trying to actually uh play a, a massive uh, resistance towards the market and i think that is because ripple as a technology have huge and interesting backup backings from uh, big guys and banks and systems that have fiat currencies all around so probably they can push in new funds and trying to manipulate the market to their favor and uh, bitcoin cash well it's no longer bitcoin cash actually bitcoin uh cash sv and uh, bitcoin cash abc obviously it's no longer close to bitcoin at all it has been totally disgraced over the past week as a result of the fork that did happen on the 15th of this month 
and uh, obviously uh, EOS is also trying to perform so well but if you look at EOS um, EOS uh, three months or four months uh, let me say uh, around uh, April you could have purchased EOS uh, around 18 or 19 20 US dollars but right now as we speak is yes something below four US dollars and that's very interesting there is a time where you have if you have a lot of fiat currencies you could do massive purchases of cheap coins and also you should also know that what is currently happening with the market not all the coins are going to be able to survive it like this crash is basically going to make some of the coins worthless at the end in fact they cannot come back to their previous uh, heights or previous levels anymore and some too would be able to do that but they would lose their btc unit uh, in a very serious way because for example today if one litecoin is uh, 30 us dollars that 30 us dollars is equal to an x amount of bitcoin so let's say if bitcoin is going to be 10,000 us dollar tomorrow and the price of litecoin is still going to maintain itself at 30 us dollars it means the btc unit or the satoshi unit that it has today is obviously going to depreciate tomorrow when the price of bitcoin is um selling for above ten thousand us dollars and so these are some of the things you need to pay attention to when you are trading to protect your coins or you are hedging against uh protecting your coins and your uh crypto folio and then we have iota also all of these coins are extremely trying to do so well and um proving reserve uh, like kind of resistance uh, as if the bm again is not extremely affecting them but if you used to have a million dollar in uh, or a hundred thousand us dollar in cryptocurrencies the early uh, around um january this year early this year uh, we want to share with you that um, today your volume should be around twenty-seven thousand dollars or maximum thirty thousand dollars because you should probably by now um, lost over seventy percent of your holdings against the US dollar. But if you are still holding the coins, obviously it means it's still the same thing. Nothing happens to the coins. So quickly, let me check the chat box and see if we have any questions that's uh, that's are coming in and uh, on me on the call we have uh, a lot of uh, guys that are uh, watching like live and um, they, they are all here so as i said um it's question and answers so you could just drop your question and i attend away as we are trying to technically understand what is ongoing with the market and if at the end of the day there is no question ah, i give thanks to god because i know that we we have a free day here and uh, well, whatever it is that we do is kind of enough so obviously there are no new questions that are trending so hello to everyone that is watching and uh, as we wait for the questions i will still continue to be doing this with you but uh, let's have a look at what is happening with the stock market okay um, some of the markets that are extremely doing well and poor alongside the cryptocurrency market so that we pay attention or we pay close attention to all of the markets around us it's not just about the cryptocurrency market it's about every business market any any market that accepts us dollar any markets that people don't sleep uh, waiting for it to do some magic in their lives uh, we have to pay attention to it so uh, let's look at the, the the stock market right now uh the stock market uh, some of the high performing or maybe we could go to yahoo finance and then we we try to check out on the let's see we go to google here and then we find out from yahoo some of the yahoo finance you know obviously with yahoo you could have access to uh, so any 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 sort of liquidity information or uh, whether it has to do with the 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 commodity market it has to do with the digital asset market it has to do with the real estate markets we could have ex we, so we can have a uh, an exceptional access to this information on top of yahoo so we go to yahoo finance and um we try to compare a lot of things and then also uh, this at the same time the stock market uh is obviously opening and uh money that's here in the entertainment market this would also give us uh, a, a very good pow over the sort of information we need to access right now because as you've experienced or as you've seen we 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 are okay with the current positioning of bitcoin and it has been made very clear that um even though the market is kind of crashing 
or crashy for Bitcoin and the entire cryptocurrency market. But obviously, it has performed more better than most of the other assets out there, and that is very true. Yesterday, I shared something on my wall, which has to do with Facebook suffering. And uh, let me see if I can have access to that and uh, share with you percentage-wise the drop that has accept, uh, that has happened to some of the big businesses out there. And um, it's loading. So let me see. I think I have access to the image over here so that I could share the, uh, the information directly with you. And this uh, 52 weeks height, that's how it's called. And uh, if, if, if you check over here, Bitcoin, oh sorry, Bitcoin has lost quite a, a substantial amount over the week. Good. But in the same week, uh, Facebook had lost over 39% of its market cap. Yeah, you can see it's on my screen. And um, I'm paying attention to this because we are, when we are analyzing, giving um, hopes to everybody that is uh, holding cryptocurrencies out there, knowing that, hey, what I have is what the holdings and is something that I should constantly consider. Amazon, uh, we all know Amazon.com, over the week, they've lost over 26% of the, the market volume. That is over $255 billion currently that uh, is happening it's, it's it's crazy and apple also has um, lost over 19 percent which has to do with 239 billion us dollars google also over the week uh lost 20 percent uh and then netflix we all know netflix our popular uh platform where we all want to have fun watch latest trending movies and all that they lost 35 percent and nobody is talking about this why because it's not necessary it matters nobody and nobody cares actually what happens with this other market we care about um the crypto the blockchain ecosystem and that's why constantly we try to talk about this but if you can see on my screen you realize uh, apple is doing so well and that world it is doing is also experiencing uh it's hardest moments of volatility uh, in the last couple of hours you realize it's been down 1.70 uh, percent and currently that is the price for apple per stock as you can see on my screen now it's not just this we have the city groups that are equally performing and outperforming others we have the the the, the Congo market we have the microsoft market microsoft is only going up right now because it has gone down several times and it's just trying to correct itself now there are a lot of articles you can see that um, talking about the great oil crash of 2018 which obviously trying to tell us that the oil market is honestly suffering at the time like the honest the, the, the oil market is also suffering right now and it's not just the cryptocurrency market and obviously you know that um, if the oil market is suffering what is the cryptocurrency because oil is a commodity that have uh, exceptional use cases every day every day people are having a need for crude oil you you have a car you drive you have uh, whatever machine diesel you know uh, the aircraft everybody is kind of depend there are big businesses that happens every day it has exceptional use cases gold market is equally falling gold is a mineral like a natural mineral we can see we can use we can like use gold to a whole lot of things in the computer system in, in our everyday lives and this market is equally suffering and then we have the the currency wise that you know stocks in terms of the currencies you you realize that now an ounce of gold is actually selling for thousand two hundred twenty four and then earlier this year it was above um uh, 1850 that was a couple of six months away and that is very very interesting right now if you're going to check the price of gold one gram of gold let's have a look at something one gram of gold price uh, of gold price one gram of gold price let's see what is obviously going to get now the, the price of one gram worth of gold is actually 39.25 dollars which is extremely performing so well earlier this year it was around 43 or 42 us dollars but right now it's uh 39 it's not bad it means gold is very resistant to uh crash and uh why is it that it's because it's as really it has extremely proven itself to be um a unique source or a unique uh backup facility
for assets in general and then um if you have a look at this currency wise lots of currencies are suffering the us dollar is suffering so much it's performing as as, as its own best strength but it's bleeding like so crazy the euro is suffering and then the chinese yen is what is actually doing so better because it actually depends on the gold the really you know it's backed up by the gold is uh, i think it has a fractional reserve in gold and that's very 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 interesting and then if you compare world markets japan is doing so well because of uh what reasons we don't know and uh, london is also trying the us is not even there why because probably we have to consider the best currencies the best market the best um markets that are performing so well in terms of liquidity that can inject you know liquidation to a market and make the market so strong as it could be and the US dollar is nowhere near such trend and all that so if all of these markets are obviously suffering and you are involved with cryptocurrencies it encourages you to know that your market otherwise is also doing better because the technology that is barely a decade old and it has from zero cent to one cent to one dollar and still the resistance is of what uh, uniform price of four thousand three hundred dollar which we are saying is a crash is obviously so amazing so if this is a crash you want to experience more of these beautiful crashes yes and um <clears throat> yahoo finance is also here but i don't think we even need to do that let me just refer myself back to the zoom call and see if we have a couple of questions over there and still no questions which uh i think we have one question can miners take over how they mint coins um he says the can miners take over how they mint coins um that's a very brilliant question but one thing you need to understand regarding mining and minting is that uh before you mine a project or a coin before you mine a coin or any project out there it has 100 percent to do with how that alg um, the algorithm on which the coin was built right now every coin whether it is a proof of work or a proof of stake coin has how it was built and its reward system right from scratch how the coin was built the project behind the coin whatever they factored all of this inside of it and then um if you are for example mining a coin like bitcoin you you cannot say you would want to earn more than the enough bitcoins that are going to be released every 10 minutes obviously you have to be like waiting for what has been designed for you you capitalize on what you receive now mention or the other one or on the other hand has everything to do with the number of coins you have how long your wallet is actively running online and then at the end of the day um like your input determines your output right your input will determine your output so if you have plenty of coins and the system has been designed to basically release let's say five percent of your total input per year there is no way you can you could force the system to release for you let's say ten percent it is just what you are supposed to end at the end of the year period but one exceptional um you know one brilliant thing about this uh, mint the, the, the coins we mint is that um, whether you stay online or not whether you are offline or not whether your wallet is actively synced or not you don't have to be stay you don't have to be online 24 7 so let's say if you are offline for let's say 10 years sorry in a in a year you are offline for six months and you are online for just one full month obviously in different days perspective what is going to happen is that all the coins that you are supposed to earn from or, or earn as a reward from the minting process would be released to you it doesn't matter if somebody started minting early january and obviously the person is has earned more coins than you are going to earn now uh, if you start yours in december all the coins you were supposed to earn from the first of january to the last day of december you earn it all before the network you know encloses that is uh most of uh how the pos coins works and then also there are some pos technologies that runs with the day you stay online 
So the very first day you started um, engaging your network, your network of coins you are holding, your year starts from that. So probably it could be maybe half of January or maybe in June where you started running your wallet, right? And that would start as your fresh year, which will obviously end in the next year, June. You understand? That is how it works. And then with um, notes, or the other hand of which you did not ask, um, notes also, when you're running a node, obviously you have a server that is running for you. And you don't have to necessarily be on top of your PC every now and then. So obviously for some reasons, if your node happens to go off, you, you simply connect. But going off does not mean you are not going to earn your rewards as long as your server that is um, running the node for you is up 24 7 that's how come when you want to run a node you would want to actually buy uh, a, a buy your server from a reliable hosting company so that at the end of the day you don't lose out on anything you know because if your server can go off let's say anytime in a week obviously it's going to affect your uh, your your maintenance or your node rewards extremely and there are plentiful coins out there you could mint mine or run nodes on obviously i think uh but maybe some other time we could dive in deeper to some of this so guys these are some of the things that's trending and happening on top of the markets and uh we had one question today on this session and that was so brilliant but it has also given us the the, the opportunity to be able to um attempt to you know talk about some of the things that are trending or ongoing with the other active markets that people are not talking about and uh, obviously you you have access to this video over and over again on our youtube channel tv.ebitcoinings.com and those of you that would um, want to share this video you should share to your friends that let them have access to this thing we are we're doing so that everybody can equally learn having access to equal information and um, don't forget to subscribe to our uh, channel after you visit and then also at the same time follow us on twitter and facebook at ebitcoinx and uh, until then we will see you next week same time four o'clock pm god willing